Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing some new crock pot dinner ideas with you. I know there's several of you that are new around here. I just want to say hi, my name is Mel and I love to share cooking videos. I hope you enjoy this video and let's go ahead and get started. First up, we're making this ranch pork loin with mashed potatoes and homemade gravy. The first thing I'm doing is cutting up one onion and I'm just slicing this so it's in rings and we're going to use that and put that in the bottom of the crock pot. Next I'm adding in my pork loin and I did cut this in half because there's only two of us we do not need an entire pork loin so I went ahead and just cut that in half and I'm putting the fatty side down. Next I'm adding in my ranch seasoning packet. Then I'm adding in one big tablespoon of minced garlic. I'm just going to sprinkle that around. And then I'm also adding some pats of butter on top of everything. This is going to melt as it cooks and just add some extra flavor. I added the lid on there and then this cooked for about five hours on a low heat. So here's what it looked like when it was all done. I am just going to remove this out of the crock pot because we're going to be using the drippings. I just used a fork to kind of break this into smaller pieces so it would be easier to serve. And then I'm just covering it with a piece of foil to keep it warm until we are ready to eat. Back over to my crock pot, I am going to strain out the liquid from the crock pot into this measuring cup. And I'm just trying to make sure I have at least one cup of the drippings. You can get the onions out of here if you want to and the little pieces of meat. But honestly, it didn't really bother me too much. I just left the smaller pieces in there. Over to my pot, we're going to add a little bit of butter. You don't need a whole lot. I'm going to add maybe a tablespoon or so. I'm just going to let that melt down. And then we're going to add in three tablespoons of flour. I got that mixed together and I let that flour cook for just a minute before adding in my drippings. I just poured those in and got that whisked together. As you can see, it's thickened up pretty good. We like a nice thick gravy and then I'm going to just add in a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. You want to be careful when you add your salt though because this does have a ranch seasoning packet already in it so it is a little salty. You might not even need to add any salt depending on your taste. Here's what my finished plate looked like. I did just make some green beans with some mashed potatoes to go along with this and we added the gravy over top of everything. We really enjoyed this meal. The gravy does have a ranchy taste and we really enjoyed that. Next up, we're gonna be making this Italian chicken and we are serving it over pasta and broccoli. So to the bottom of my crock pot, I'm adding in some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. They are not seasoned or anything yet, and there are six of them. Over my chicken thighs, I'm adding in one tablespoon of minced garlic along with one of these cans of Italian-style diced tomatoes. 
Next, I'm adding in one can of cream of mushroom soup. You can use a different cream of soup if you would like to, if you don't like mushrooms. I'm also adding in one tablespoon of Italian seasoning and one tablespoon of tomato paste. I'm just giving those top ingredients a mix. Try not to move the chicken off the bottom. And then once you get that mixed together, add your lid and let this cook on a low heat for about six hours. This is what it looked like after those six hours. My chicken was all the way cooked through and now I'm adding in a block of cream cheese. You're also gonna wanna add some of this grated Parmesan cheese, about a half cup. I'm just getting this mixed together again and I am breaking up the chicken and the cream cheese block with my spoon. And I'm gonna let this cook for another half hour to an hour to let all that cheese melt down. This is what it looked like after the cheese had melted and I did break apart all the chicken. And then here are our finished plates. This is my husband's right here over some bow tie noodles. And then I just ate mine over some broccoli just to keep it a little bit more low carb. And again, with some more shredded Parmesan cheese over the top. And then last but not least, we're making this chicken enchilada soup. And I really enjoyed this because it is a cleaner chicken enchilada soup. To my crock pot, I'm adding in two chicken breasts. These are frozen, but that's okay. They will cook down and be just fine. I'm also adding in half of a chopped onion, a half cup of carrots, a half cup of chopped celery, one bell pepper chopped up. I'm using an assortment of colors, one tablespoon of minced garlic, and then for the seasonings, two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of oregano, and then one and a half tablespoons of chili powder. And then you'll need to add about a fourth cup of tomato paste, one can of diced tomatoes with green chilies, and then four cups of low sodium chicken broth. I'm just doing my best to try to give that a little bit of a mix and then we're going to add the lid on this cooked on a high heat for about three and a half to four hours until my chicken was cooked all the way through. Now that my chicken is all the way cooked through, I'm just going to remove that from the crock pot onto a separate plate. Now what we're gonna do is blend up our soup. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can add this into a regular blender after it has cooled a little bit. But I got this immersion blender for Christmas and I have just been itching to use it. So we're trying it out on this soup today. You're just going to blend this up until all of those veggies are gone. And let me tell you, this is a great soup. If you have kids that are not veggie fans, they would never know that there was veggies in here. Next, we're just adding in a little bit of cornstarch just to thicken it up a little bit because we like a thicker soup. I have one tablespoon of cornstarch mixed with just a little bit of water and then I'm just getting that combined in the soup. Then we're adding in a can of mixed chili beans, a half cup of corn. You can use more corn than this. We just don't like a ton of corn. And then I am shredding up our chicken over here to the side and we're just going to add that back into the soup. I'm giving that a really good mix together and then we're gonna let this cook for about another hour just to let the beans and the corn warm through. Now that everything is cooked through, go ahead and give it a taste and adjust your seasonings to your likings. I'm just adding in a little bit of salt and pepper. Here's what my finished bowl looked like. I added in some avocado, fresh jalapenos, a little bit of shredded cheese, and then some sour cream. Besides adding the sour cream and the cheese, this is a pretty healthy soup. 
it has a lot of veggies in it that you would never notice because you do blend them up that's why i said this will be perfect to serve to kids they would never know i actually didn't tell my husband about all the veggies in here and he didn't notice and he ate three bowls of this so i take that as a win Thank you so much for coming back for another video. I hope you liked this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would really love that. I will see you guys back here on Sunday for a new week of meals.